that that organization was in disrepair. And to think that they could go out and get not only Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, they've got DeAndre Jordan coming in. What level friend slash family member do you have to be to get a return text from you today? What's happening, YouTube family? Thank you for coming back to the channel. What a great NBA free agency weekend. The biggest news of this free agency weekend, KD, Kyrie, DeAndre Jordan, going to the Knicks. And hell, it pissed Stephen A. Naismith the hell off. And it pissed me off too because my Miami Heat done something I did not like. And we're going to talk about all the free agency news. Plus, you can hear what Stephen A. had to say, but first. On this channel, we always put on our plus seven glasses of NBA life gain sexy as hell because we're working on skill in that craft bringing you a life gain in every situation please subscribe to my channel turn on those notifications so when i drop videos you get them and if you like the gear that i wear nba hats and all that check my amazon link i've got that stuff in there so let's run down all the changes in the nba and then i'm gonna let you hear what stephen a had to say because i'm just as mad as he was kimball walker is going to boston and they did a trade for Terry Rozier. I think that is going to be a hell of a good deal for Boston. Kimba is just as good as Kyrie, in my opinion. He's underrated. He just hasn't been to the playoffs. His on-the-court and off-the-court leadership is going to really help that team. Those are some big trades. Then we've got Al Horford, ladies and gentlemen, left Boston to go to Philly. Philly already was doing well with their front court, and now you've got him in the front court along with Joel Embiid. That's going to be formidable. D'Angelo Russell is going to Golden State. I have no idea how that's going to work out because he needs the ball. He's not a system type of player. He's a ball haul guy. He had a great year this year, comeback player of the year type of guy. But he's going to be in a system that requires you to share the ball. I think that's going to be chaotic at the start, but we'll see how it goes. Now, the one that pissed me the hell off, my damn Miami Heat signed Jimmy Butler for the max deal, y'all. I'm just like, what the hell you doing, Miami? And I say this because a lot of y'all say he's a good player, and I granted he is okay. He's not top tier. But he's been to Chicago, calls issues. Minnesota calls issues, and he was beefing with the young dudes in Philly. What makes you think he's going to be any different in Miami? And back when he was 23, he did an interview saying one place he never wanted to go is Miami, but you show me the cash, he comes to Miami. Now take a quick look at what Stephen A. had to say, which is basically my feelings about Jimmy Butler coming to Miami, his feelings about how New York has played this whole entire Free agency. Needed a few minutes to grab it, gather my composure. Somehow, some way, I'm just trying to just hold it together, you know? Lifelong Nick fan. Years of mediocrity. I thought this was going to be it at least weeks ago. And then you know when I was doing first tape and we were in Oakland and I got word about Kyrie in Brooklyn. Realizing that that meant KD in Brooklyn. Realizing that the New York Knicks were going to go without anything. $70 million in cap space. Porzingis is gone. Porzingis can't be gone. And we don't get KD and we don't get Durant and Kyrie rather. No way. This can't happen. This can't happen. But it happened. The New York Knicks. With KD on the market, Kyrie on the market, Clay. Kimba, Jimmy Butler, they can't get somebody to come to Madison Square Garden. 
but because Brooklyn's got Sean Marks and because Brooklyn's got Kenny Atkinson and because Brooklyn has Live Nation. And they're Brooklyn. In three years, the Brooklyn Nets have accomplished what we've been waiting for the New York Knicks to pull off for a half century. And more specifically in 20 years, in the last 20 years, this is what they pulled off. This is what they pulled off. I know the Knicks are going to go out and get somebody maybe like a Julius Randle. So that was Stephen A. You got my opinion. Now I want to know you guys' thoughts. Is Kevin Durant going to win another title with Kyrie when he comes back from being recovering from this year? Should I not be mad about my Miami Heat getting Jimmy Butler? And what was your biggest news or your news for your specific team if I didn't cover it in free agency this year? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life game. Let me know how your team is improving, and we're going to keep this thing moving. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.